Hello, Chip. Hello, boy. That's my horse, Chip. I'm Chris Clark from Happy Trails Ministry. Now, he's wanting this bucket of oats, so we're going to see if he's going to bow his head and say his prayer. Here, say your prayer. Here. Say your prayer. Say your prayer. He's got a mouthful, so he's not going to do it. But every morning and every afternoon at night when I feed him, he says his prayer before he gets his bucket of oats. So I made the mistake of letting him have a mouthful. So he's not going to get any more because he didn't say his prayer. Again, I'm with Happy Trails Ministry. This is my helper, Chip. He goes with me a lot of times when I do cowboy church, when I tell people about Jesus. Uh, this is his little buddy, Penny. And uh, Chip is 26. He's a registered quarter horse. Penny's a little bit younger, we think 23, 24. She is not a pony. If you tell her she's a pony, you'll hurt her feelings. She's a miniature horse. Now, how do I share the gospel with Chip? Now, Chip's gonna just do his thing. You know, he's a horse. Oh, he's gonna slip around here and try to steal some oats. But uh, I let him out every afternoon about this time. And uh, when we go tell people about Jesus, we use a lot of uh, parallels with uh, you know, what do I want from my horse? Well, I want my horse to believe in me. I want my horse to trust me. I want my horse to have faith in me, enough uh, faith and trust that he's willing to, uh, to uh, be obedient to me, even to the point of full surrender. And uh, that's exactly what God wants from you and from me. He wants us to believe in him, to have faith in him, to trust in him to be obedient to him, even to the point of full surrender. So, uh, you know, we enjoy doing that. And uh, this is my wife, Sheila, running the camera. If you turn the camera around and have the horses in the background, I'll tell you a little story about a lady that uh, they don't get the golf cart post in the film. There he comes. There he comes. Uh, young, young lady named uh, Allison, and that's not her real name. Uh, she was in, in college at Murray, and she got to come into some of our cowboy church services. And, and uh, next thing I knew, she was coming to our full-time cowboy church at Kentucky Lake Cowboy Church, where I serve as pastor. And uh, uh, she was saved, and uh, uh, I was blessed to have an opportunity to perform her wedding ceremony. And now she's got two boys, uh, maybe the same age as you are, and uh, they're going to church full-time at another church where they can have Bible school and Sunday school and all those things that, that you enjoy. And uh, that's, that's just one way that, that uh, uh, we share the gospel when we go. And, uh, you know, the Eliza Broadus offering has helped me over the years. Uh, I think I figured up in maybe the past 18 years. This is Rosie. And... Uh, Rosie's kind of the unofficial mascot for, for the group. Um, for the past 18 years, Eliza brought us offering, has, has uh, given us ministry grants. And I want to try to stand over here where you can see the horses in the background. And uh, several thousand dollars Eliza brought us offering has helped us to do our ministry. And one of the biggest expenses we have is uh, Bibles, New Testaments. And I've got one in my pocket here. Most any uh, ministry's got some type of uh, New Testament. And, um, you know, these cost me $3 a piece. Uh, a gallon of diesel fuel costs for anywhere from $4 to almost $5. And those are our two biggest expenses. So uh, how can you help? How can you be a missionary? If I say, who is a missionary, I want you to raise your hand, even, even point to yourself and say, I am. Because we're all missionaries if we're telling people about Jesus. Um, how, how can you help? Well, you can tell other people about Jesus. Uh, what, what, what is a missionary? Somebody that tells somebody else about Jesus. Now, here's a question for you. What does a missionary wear? You know, I asked a little girl, uh, group that one time, and a little girl spoke up, and she said, dress-up clothes. And you can plainly see that I don't have dress-up clothes on. 
Yet these are the clothes that are appropriate for me to be a missionary to people in the horse community, the equestrian community. And that's where God has called me to serve, in the equestrian community. So how, how can you help ministries like ours, like Happy Trails Ministry, or any of the many, many ministries uh, in Kentucky that the Eliza brought us offering funds? They've all got a Bible. They're all giving out Bibles. These cost me $3. You know, you could give three dollars to the Eliza Broadus offering and buy somebody a Bible to give away to somebody that needs to know about Jesus. Maybe you've only got one dollar. Maybe you could get a couple of other friends and get three dollars, and you could give to the Eliza Broadus offering and help someone buy a Bible for ministry. Uh, I mentioned our truck expense, our diesel fuel expense. Maybe you've got five dollars that you want to give, and that would help us buy a gallon of diesel fuel to get to where we need to go. Many ministries have transportation expenses with trucks and stuff so there are many ways that you can be a missionary or that you can give to help missionary most of all you can pray you can pray that God would help missionaries like me and that he would he would prepare the hearts of men women boys and girls as they uh, encounter ministries like ours that they too might come to know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior thank you for praying for missions